Hi, I'm James Duffus, Group Program Manager for Windows Multipoint Server. As Microsoft has been having conversations with educators and students around the world, we've heard a strong desire for technology for learning that is reliable, easy to use, and affordable. We've also heard about some challenges that people have in using information technology in education. These challenges include finite budgets that are insufficient to provide a PC for every student in a system. We've heard challenges about maintenance budgets that are stretched to support large numbers of PCs in classrooms and in labs. We've also heard a strong desire to lower energy costs and be more efficient, uh, more green if you like. We've also heard that we need technology to be simpler for teachers, to allow teachers to spend less time managing technology in the classroom and more time focusing on teaching students. In response to these needs, Microsoft has created Windows Multipoint Server 2010. This is a product which allows multiple students to share the same PC while each having their own desktop experience. We accomplish this by associating a monitor, keyboard, mouse, perhaps a headset, into a user station for each student and then delivering a Windows client experience to each of those workstations. With Windows Multipoint Server, you get a very familiar Windows client desktop experience familiar to so many students and teachers around the world. In addition, we reduce IT complexity by reducing the number of systems that need to be managed within a classroom or a lab. IT complexity is further reduced by the ability to install an application such as Office one time and have that become instantly available to every user on that system. Now let me show you Multipoint Manager and what it can do for teachers. The first tab in Multipoint Manager gives you basic system information, the ability to shut down the system and the associated stations at the end of the day, and gives you access to a wealth of information about how to use Windows Multipoint Server. Under the Desktop tabs, we have a representation of the different desktops that are active on this system. The teacher has the ability to disconnect sessions if the students leave for lunch, for example. When the students come back, they log back into any station. They'll be reconnected to their session in exactly the state they left it. Or at the end of a period, the teacher could choose just to terminate all the existing sessions that are active and start afresh. Under the Hardware tab, this shows the teacher whether all the stations have the necessary hardware connected for the student to be able to uh, be productive. You'll note that here on station four, we have a mouse that's disconnected. I can quickly go reconnect that mouse and that station is back in business. No call to the help desk. Uh, the teacher is able to keep productive and focus on teaching. Under the user tab, we have the ability for the teacher to very simply uh, add students for a class, for example, or manage the students within that class. So those are the key things that we think a teacher might want to be able to accomplish in the classroom. But there's also some terrific Windows features that really light up uh, in the shared computing scenario. One of those Windows features is the use of public libraries. So say I'm a teacher and I want to distribute an assignment to the class. If I quickly go through these stations and bring up my documents for each of the students, you'll see that they don't have this, the assignment that I want them to have, which in this case is in my teacher's My Documents. And here it is. It's an assignment on Wales. If I open my public documents library and simply drag that assignment in, what you'll see is that assignment immediately appears and is accessible for each of the students working on the system. By now you've noticed that each of these students is working on a different assignment. At the bottom right we have a student researching on the internet, completing an assignment about whales. Upper right we have a student that's watching and listening to high definition video, taking notes for a class. You'll also notice that the students have chosen to personalize their experiences. They've taken their own wallpapers, they have their own favorites and settings. Each time they return to the classroom and log into any station, that's the experience that they're going to get the next time they log in. I hope I've given you a good idea of how Windows Multipoint Server 2010 can help schools, teachers, and students. For schools, they're able to provide access to technology for more students for less cost. For educators, they're able to spend less time managing technology and more time educating students. And for students, they're able to get access to computer-based learning as well as build computer skills for the 21st century. 
If you'd like to learn more about Windows Multipoint Server or how it's being used by educators around the world today, please visit our website. Thank you.